journey with one of hip-hop's most prolific and misunderstood artists as he speaks to his fans candidly about his personal and professional life. Listen to the articulate words of a young visionary as he leads you down the road of his trials and tribulations and up the path toward his dreams and successes. This is Dizzy Bone. singing. The singing was the dream. Praying, hard work, struggles. The birth of the Bone Thug story. Eight months in Cali. 17 years old and finally Easy e Kicking it with Easy e Getting drunk, getting high, then bam. Death. Easy e is dead. The death of Easy e brings on a state of chaos, division, and things start to fall. Things have gone awry. And yes, some bad things are said in his hatred and anger towards his life, but eventually, maybe even out of desperation, he takes it to Christ, takes it to the Lord, and he stands. Saved by the blood of Jesus. And you know what I'm saying? Always, always search. Yeah, exactly. Always, man. Spiritual, never physical. You can't take none of this with you, brother. All you got, you know what I mean, is your integrity and your soul that you leave. You leave your integrity with you, the type of motherfucker you was. Amen. man. That's it, man. Future, future, future's coming up out of here. Future's coming up out of seven. You know, all we gotta do is keep on working. But I'm quite sure when they hear all these young brothers, these young brothers are not only contenders, but they're, they're, uh, they're front runners. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that gotta catch up with them. They've been in boot camp for so long, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, my nigga. So listen before you commit to commit my roots of fiction attention This nigga, this nigga, this is your last got these businesses so connected with each other that it makes so much sense. 
to do it like this because we have everything within ourselves. We're contained. You. Listen every word to the wise. Around my mouth, this the seventh time, the only seventh time. Pop. I don't need no groupies on the side. The cat from down to Vegas with the homies at the Belage. Yeah, I asked him all about it. All in the body playing. Let's hear. Let's see what we did. You bitch, nigga, and died a cop who on the KPS wanted. Floating my jury in the faces of the grand jury. Take the stand. Do it again. Man, you know what I'm saying? We're just trying to keep it moving, man. Keep keep the wheels turning, you know what I mean? I got to work every day. Christmas, uh, Hanukkah, uh, Ramadan, okay. uh, everything, <laughs> everything. It's just keeping it moving, you know what I'm saying? So they definitely doing their shit. So shout out to my dogs and more power to them, you know what I'm saying? I wish they was here right now. You know? I've done what I be in my soul and the bottle You just because women are spotted I've done what I be up and hit you with bottles And niggas be getting this on me Been in the trial, they could never so bad But I can smile now, I'm thug well And I'm still fuck well And if you're young, better enjoy the child Feeling me now And come in the dog, look ready to get proud What the world say, y'all never bow down Keep on keeping on, pass it around Pretty boy with a blemish, all coke and crap My seven sign niggas written I can smoke a pan Gotta get mine cause I ain't finished And get it with me Oh my god, I'm gonna that shit <laughs> Questions you want to ask me? <laughs> <laughs> See, how does it feel to be real? Shit, it feels real. Time, it can be better, it can be better. Give me a little more, give me a little more, give me a little more, give me a little more. Give me a little more. Give me a little more. Now, what you right. Respect, Jesus! <laughs> Is you seeing where I'm coming from? Is he singing to me? You feel where I'm coming from? Yeah. Work with me now, come on. Dude, how they got to see you up the I think it's just a blessing, to be real honest. I think it's just a blessing, like a motherfucker. Because it'd be a lot harder if it was like this. If, if he wasn't down here, if you wasn't down here, it would be a lot harder. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make everybody a part of this, but this is my thing. It's just everybody a part of this For right sure. now. And that's some real shit. I ain't no mother, this ain't no game, you know what I'm saying? So it's real, it's real respectful on, on some manly shit that men know about. Accept it, reject it, but walk out the motherfucking door. I don't give a fuck. You wanna hit this wing? <laughs> <laughs> It's like a, it's just like a 50-50 thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like your word is your bond type level, you know? Looking in each other's eyes, shaking hands, breaking bread, and really meaning it, not betraying each other. And uh, it taught me a lot about, you know what I'm saying? Business first, you know what I mean? It's show business, it's show business, show, show, show some business. You know what I mean? So he put a lot of that into my head and, you know, I brought my little, like I said, I bring my little two cents to the table to his 98 and it just, it, it, it makes that dollar jump off real well. And I just learned a lot of things and now I'm doing management here and there, you know what I'm saying? Able to put, put some things together with my own artists. So it's a blessing, man. It's one of the, uh, one of the best businessmen that I've ever worked with in my entire career. I think the best businessman I ever worked with in my entire career. When, when Cat started realizing that in the music business that, that this is a business. You, you, you're not in the, you're 
you're not just in the business just to be a rapper. You, this is a business. Treat this thing like a business, man. It's a whole different ball, man. It says, if you try to do something good and bad comes from it, do good anyway. If you try your best and somebody brings their worst, do your best anyway. If you sing your heart out and they still say you can't sing, sing your heart out anyway. Boo. Win.
write more poetry now than ever. More socially conscious with my, with my music. You know I'm saying, talking about issues and subjects and mean something. Not just the same old dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? But the business is bullshit. You know what I mean? It's just a bunch of bullshit. This whole seven side thing that I'm doing is, is just real. 50 50, split it down the middle, silent hand at times. It's just a different thing. I think it's going to be one of the last real things while we are in Revelations. As far as music wise, how we going to come, how we going to do our best to walk with Christ and try to move forward. At least that's what I'm going to do. That's where the silent hand comes in. Everybody in control of their own destiny. It's the way it is.
fucking with these bullshit ass motherfuckers and all this other bullshit that's going on in the business. I'm doing this shit for the kids. Every little bit, you know what I'm saying? To be able to take care of them. And over the course of so many stories, there is so many deep things to be said. He is now 27 years old, has been rapping for 11 years of his life, making music, making it happen. And now he is here. Another chapter in the book of Brian has begun. But see now you in the minds of a real soldier who's really to hold everything on his shoulders. Even if it's a bowling, every time I get older I feel like my death and my life and this shit is trifling and I'm getting colder. I can't even realize that the bread I just opened was full of mold. Whew. My story still ain't been told.